I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to remove earwax at home. Now, people find earwax really disturbing, and occasionally a buildup of earwax may cause a problem like pain or decreased hearing. But for most people, you really don't need to do anything about earwax. Remember, earwax, or cerumen, we call it in medicine, is very protective. Not only does it form a physical barrier preventing bugs and dirt from getting into the ear, but it also forms an acidic chemical barrier fighting off bacteria and keeping them from causing outer ear infections like swimmer's ear. Now, what do you not want to do? You absolutely do not want to put a Q-tip here in the ear canal. What happens, there's generally a little narrowing or twist in the canal about halfway down. And when you go in with a Q-tip, you usually push more wax in than you get out. That can cause an impaction, decreased hearing, even ear infections. This tissue is very, very delicate and tender. It's easy to scratch and introduce infections. Even when we're doing it professionally in the doctor's office, it's a little challenging. You also don't want to flush water forcibly into the ear. Doctors do this sometimes, but we've always looked first to make sure there's not a hole in the tympanic membrane or eardrum, because if you put infected fluid into the middle ear here, you can cause a really bad ear infection. So what can you do? Well, you can instill some ear drops. Those drops can be a homemade solution of half white vinegar and half alcohol. That's especially protective from swimmer's ear. You can also use a little bit of peroxide. You can use mineral oil or baby oil. You really should not use a vegetable oil like olive oil because that can sit in the ear and go rancid. Uh, you can use just a simple wet washcloth in the bath. Just wash the outside of the ear. And know that for almost everybody, the earwax is going to work its way out. The skin down here grows outward like a little conveyor belt, and it carries the wax out of the ear with time. One last thing, ear candling may be popular, but it has never been shown to do anything about earwax, and it may pose a really serious fire hazard. So more and more, we're counseling patients to avoid ear candling because it is dangerous, and as best we know, it just doesn't work. Talking about getting earwax out at home, I'm Dr. David Hill.